Hey, howdy cowdies. Hope you're going good. How was the cricket last night, huh? <laughs> like you walk about time with the collector. We've been flat knacker again. We've got heaps of cool stuff. Nice lot of watches. Nice lot of uncirculated and other mint Australian coins. More enameled membership medallions and badges. These ones are from high schools and stuff. Uh, you got footy club ones again. Tarax, Jerry G, Tarax Club. All sorts of stuff. Nice big Rosenthal Versace glass disc. You got the little Tootsie toy, Buck Rogers. Diecast spaceship. Melbourne 56 Olympics car grill badge. Lovely little butterfly wing picture over the back. There's lots of nice stuff in the jewellery cabinet as per usual. A couple of nice watercolours. Just can't remember the name of the artist. I think it's Glenda. Glenda Smith, I think, from memory. But they're really quite nice. Just Australian landscapes. This one's kind of nice with a little sort of farm or hay shed. The big cedar and pine bookcase. Lovely Edwardian walnut desk with all the sort of hand decorated. Looks like it's inlaid, but it's all just hand painted. But really quite nice, classical. A heavy copper standard lamp, a white sewing machine or white. Some coffee grinders, this ran Cilio ones, an absolute snorkeler. We got some really cool clothes and accessories. These little boxes are full of sort of headdresses and funny hats. And you've got heaps of pairs of gaiters, like military ones, and then other stuff in amongst as well. And we've got some great clothes. A Collingwood woolen knit footy jumper. It's quite a small or sort of youth size. So this is a pretty amazing velvet cape with the hood, and there's a little tassel hanging off the hood. Nice clasps and the gold thread work. Some great colourful sort of retro woolen knit jumpers and vests. A Playboy night shirt with some other men's shirts and some nice old men's suits here with branch flower Box Hill Arcade labels on them. I think there's some moth holes in the pants of the light blue one. Winter coats, some cool retro ladies clothing from the 70s. Some more sort of cool vintage ladies clothing, a Lady Polacco skirt in amongst that group. What else have we got? Men's clothing, some great old blazers and sort of waistcoats, things like this. This one's a ripper, about 1900, 1910. I think the label is Kappa and Son or something, not Warwick Kappa. Kappa and Sons. What else have we got? Boxes of books, some travel ephemera, but these are all nice sort of little postcard albums and stuff like that and view booklets. Some movie posters. The show off, bit of red skeleton action. Kitchen alia, nice stainless steel saucepan set and some other cool 70s kitchenware. Um, ceramic dinner sets. Two big boxes of comics, nice little sort of paper. Um, little storage there with some nice old journals or ledgers, some stoneware bottles. Nice old Loy Brothers with the blue glazed top, but there is damage. It has been off and stuck back on. This is a nice SRD one from made up in Tamworth. Uh, what else have we got? Seashells. Uh, sheet music and stuff. Uh, boxes of things and boxes of stuff. Chamber pots are nice. They've all got damage, unfortunately. Um, nice old truncheon. Some more watches. Holden bonnet badge there with some other sort of stuff. Nice little set of scales. The World's Most Wanted, two packs of playing cards. There's some nice watches here. Stainless steel at wind-up uh, datum and a nice Seiko wind-up. They both work. There's some cool bits of jewellery in amongst this little group. This is one of the coolest things I've seen for ages. The Sale of the Century little pin with the diamond encrusted. It's all marked on the back. I think Julius Marlowe or Barlow or something like that. Pretty cool in amongst there. Group load of watches. Polaroid camera. It's like a Polaroid sort of slide enlarger or something. And some kitsch records. Uh, some nice watercolours, including the chicory kiln up at Silver Leaves in Phillip Island. It's Mr. Wood's chicory kiln. Prints. That one in front might not be a print. A nice little pine knee hole desk. There's other stuff down the back. Uh, what 
else have we got? Records, more comic books, some nice HO gauge model railway. The Vic Rail Loco needs a little bit of work, but you've got a nice little steam train in amongst there and another nice little diesel or electric loco with little connectors that pull up like that. Nice portable gramophone. Uh, boxes of stuff. Records, some cool retro Gazzini plastic and some Bessemer plastic plus the nice orange cook pots. Two boxes of singles, group lot of paintings and this nice old enlarged photograph. Movie posters, the gods must be crazy. Uh, this is pretty cool, big sort of art deco style mixed media of a man and a woman on the back of a motorbike. Sort of stencil. He's cool as well, the plasterware woofer dog, but his tail has been off and stuck back on. Got this nice big sort of modern 19, sort of 80s, 90s red leather sort of lounge suite. Nice pair of mid-century modern TV chairs there with a little sort of wooden teak paddle arms. Got the nice skillo and something or other. I've forgotten who's made it. Really nice, the oak extension table. It's made over in England. Um, little set of four Victorian cedar balloon backs. We've got the nice big refectory table back in with the chairs, ladder back, rush cedar chairs to go with it. Trechikov print, the weeping rose or something. Another nice original Trechikov print, Silent Models, I think that one's called. Got some more movie posters. Jack Thompson is Peterson. Some other stuff in amongst. Miss Nude America. I don't know. There's more in there. Sissy Spacek. More movie posters. Half a ton and ten feet tall. King of the Grizzlies. Really cool poster. Um, got some good books and records. Nice group, lot of records here. Bit of Rolling Stones in amongst and other stuff. Set of three volumes, The Ancient Egyptians. The report of the Executive Commissioner for New South Wales to the World's Columbian Exposition in 1993 in Chicago. Uh, I think first edition Ian Interest books. Another nice little group of books, including a lovely big one over the back there, The Art of Hans Heysen. Nice big collection of mixed sort of ceramics and glass. Some more records. Nice lot of coloured glass. Elvis gear. And then there's this. A collection of shell art by Joy Langley, including the parrot. There's an oil painting over the back. And you've got Joy's talk on shell art cassette tape, which goes for 40 minutes. Um, singles, I think they're Australian ones. Decks of cards, some records and a record player. Some more books. Stationery. Some more nice paintings. Rip a big watercolour by John Flexmore. And this is John Forley, I think. Uh, nice British watercolour. Um, Jack Collis Oil, Terrace Houses, I think, up in Sydney. Kath Ballard. And a nice Jack Courier screen print as well. Uh, Collingwood Footy Club gear. 1990 Premiership bottle of port and heaps of 1990 gear. 87 membership medallion and other stuff. 77 WEG poster. Movie posters. Nice collection of jewellery in the box there. And the stand. Another good group lot of records. Phone cards. Box, sort of Chinese-made reproduction tin toys. This is the hat section. We've got the furry ear flap hat. We've got a nice um, military beret with the badge and the pretty cool black felt one. This is pretty cool. An old sort of gilt-painted gong with a pretty cool sort of griffin wall mount. Comic books. Um, America's Cup book, which is signed, I think, by Dick Pratt. The vintage Ferrari we've put with a sort of modern reproduction tin toy. We've got the modern tin toy robots. Hey, 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 Bender and the guys. Future armor action figures in their boxes. Really cool pair of retro 1970s headphones, audio cups, Amplivox made in England, and they've got nice sort of modern attachments so you can actually use them. Two more box tin toy robots. Cool lot of day bills, all R-rated. Heavy traffic from the makers of Fritz the Cat. Cool breeze. What else have we got? More posters. This is a cool big um, 
set of four prints there of all early steam engines all framed up as one with their nice sort of descriptions underneath each of them. Two nice two-volume book sets, nice lot of glass, Good another good lot of records, some retro household with the red anodized cocktail shaker. It's a cool little group with the copper sort of tray or pan. Nice lot of retro ceramics with the pin-up girl cabinet plate. Australian and other pottery, costume jewellery, um, cool lot of modern comics, Sumerian and Game of Thrones. We've got this nice group, lot of sort of mixed items, car books, manuals, Dunlop tyre ashtray. Another good lot of Australian ephemera. There's some nice, I think, Sydney view books over the back. Noddy, which works, his car and a couple of dinky toys. Some more reproduction tin toys, Rolling Stones, couple of LPs, and a couple of cassette tapes. Cool group of ephemera. It's an old Flintstones puzzle. There's heaps of these card holders from various cartoon characters, Popeye, Blondie, and some cool magic tricks. Leonard Skinner, double LP. Another nice lot of mixed ephemera. That's uh, a great group down the bottom here of all this sort of 1950s, 60s Premier League soccer. Um, books, magazines, programs from games, and there's also Australian Board of Cricket um, dinner. There you go, 19, dinner menu from 1962 in honour of the Marlebone Cricket Club and the MCC touring team. Monopoly sets made in Australia. Nice big Oriental scroll. Fantastic records are back in. Some fandom comics, that one in front there is signed by the cover artist, Glenn Ford. Mid-century ceramics, German stuff, Austrian. And that one over the back to the right is Greek. A couple of nice bits of sort of modern Japanese pottery. Some Buddhas, some Chinese porcelain, and some more bits of sort of modernist Japanese pottery. These are a great set. Oh, there's ten of them. Caricatures by Haddon in 1979. They're all the captains of the various clubs from the Herald Sun Newsboy Newsgirl Merit Award. They've all got a little bit of sticky tape on the corner, but they're pretty cool. It's a nice big book, Turkey and Russia. Their races, history and wars. As you can see, the spine is loose. Two nice big Raymond Ching bird books. Lovely little, I think it's Thomas Amy's watercolour. Fantastic little retro Bessemer tray. Nice little retro wall plaque. These are pretty cool. World's finest Federal Comic Superman and Batman number one. I think there's a couple of, I think there's two or three in that lot. They're all early number Australian comics. Nice Wedgwood cabinet plate. Some more early Australian comics. Hulk number one. And there's something else in there I've just forgotten. And that's a nice Marvel Spider Man number 53. Magpie Carnival Glass, TG Green Corning Wear with the lid. Uh, what else have we got? Nice Carnival Glass Melon Rib, uh, Miles Johnson Australian Art Glass Vase, Hans Carla Danish Art Pottery, a couple of nice little bits of hand decorated Guy Boyd. There's a lovely bit Crown Ducal, the Chintz, and there's a John Bennett tea set, and another Carnival Glass. Cook a bar a bowl. Anyway, there's more stuff, but I'm not showing you everything. Then you'll have no surprises tomorrow night. Hopefully you saw something you liked. Be good. Go Pies.